Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ben Thorny Ben Thorny Ben Thorny Ben Thorny Ben Thorny Show. 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 In a very interesting interview with Joshua Fraser, we'll also put media teachers up against media students in an exciting song lyric game, and we'll also have an exclusive music performance from the wonderful Indigo. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the Ben Thornley Show. So we begin with an insight into what it is really like to star in one of the longest running TV programmes on British television. EastEnders has been on our screen since 1985 and our very own Josh Fraser was lucky enough to have a small role on the show this year. I sat down with Josh to find out what it was really like to be on one of the most famous soaps ever. I am joined here by Josh Fraser, who was recently on EastEnders. Josh, welcome to the show. All right, Ben. Cheers. Thank you very much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Um, cheers. So, obviously, you're on EastEnders. Yeah. What was that like, seeing yourself on screen? Oh, it's weird. It's strange. Um, it's Obviously, it's yourself, but it's kind of like a different version of yourself. Yeah. It's like seeing yourself, but not. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. How did you get this opportunity? Uh, so, I do a bit of dancing and stuff. Yeah. Um, and my dance school opened up an acting agency. Um, and they just said, do you want to do an audition for East I was, I was like, yes, well yeah. up for it. And then did the audition and went from there. And how did you feel when you got the role? Oh, I was over the moon. I was yeah. so excited. It's like my family have watched it yeah. since it started. You must have been very popular when, uh, when <laughs> yeah. it came out. Everyone's nans and aunties. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Um, what was it like being on the set? Because I could imagine it's probably quite surreal. Yeah, it's weird. It's like having deja vu. It's like you've been there in a dream yeah. or something, you know. You know where everything is, you know the name of all the shops, you know how many times those shops have been burnt yeah, down and yeah. reopened kind of thing. Yeah, and um, obviously you actually had a few lines with fellow characters. Yeah. What was it like kind of meeting very famous cast members? Oh, it, it's wicked. But it's like, you don't want to seem too starstruck yeah. when you meet them, but then you don't want to seem too cool kind of yeah. thing. So you have to kind of get that balance, but it was really good. Yeah. And because you actually had a few lines with Danny Dyer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I met Danny Dyer. He's wicked. Yeah. Really cool. He um, he pretty much just plays himself in his yeah. <laughs> But it's it's really cool. Yeah. Really cool. And um, how long did it take you to learn all your lines? And how long was it before you kind of perfected mm. your scene? Uh, so I only had about five or six lines. Yeah. I kind of went in there, knowing them a little bit, but didn't really have to know them, kind of thing. Yeah. Um. So we did like a half speed rehearsal, a normal rehearsal, and then they just try and film everything. Yeah. So they got as much tape as they can. Was it kind of a bit more improvised what you do, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's more obviously it's scripted. Yeah. But you just have to follow the yeah, kind of, yeah, 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 the flow of things. You've uh, uh, a dancer. Yeah, yeah. Um do you see yourself kind of acting more in the future? Is that something you would like to do? Hopefully, like definitely, hopefully. That I'd... was the first time you you done yeah, acting. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the first thing I've ever done, and I never thought about it kind of before, and now I I, like, I love it. It's, yeah. it's really fun. It's good fun. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. And uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your character that you played and the role you had in these things? Yeah, so I play a character called Bruno. Yeah. Uh, he's kind of a bit of a little gangster. Yeah. I don't really want to mess with him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. And he actually. In, in the episode, you stabbed yeah. a fellow character. What was yeah. that like? I, it, was, it was hard. Like, it was hard to film. Because yeah. we're from London. It's so close to heart. Yeah. There's been like 40 fatal stabbings. Yeah, it's very relevant. This year alone. Yeah. So it's like, you don't want to make it too silly. or si You want it to be like a serious yeah. angle on it. Because it is a really serious matter. Yeah. And finally, what advice would you give someone that is looking to get into this industry? Um, so get yourself an agent. Yeah. Firstly. And then secondly, put yourself out there. So let... Go and find casting directors. Don't wait for them to find you because you're not going to get anything in life from waiting, really. Yeah. All right, well, Josh, we thought you were absolutely uh, fantastic. Thank you. Senders. Cheers. Uh, here's a little clip of Josh in action. Wait. On your bike. On your bike? Yeah. 
Wait. Come on. Oh! He's not in here. Thank you very much, Josh, for your time, and we hope to see you again on our screens very soon. Next up, we're going to see who really knows their music, teachers or students, in a game we like to call Name the Song. Three teachers went head to head with three students in a battle to see who could guess the name of the song after I read out the lyrics. So the real question is, whose song knowledge is better, teachers or students? So today we have the students and we have the teachers. So on the teachers team we have... Shona. David. Andy. And on the students we have... Richards. Chloe. Okay, so the game is pretty simple. Are we all clear on the rules? Let's play Name the Song. <laughs> Question one. Are we all ready? Yes. yes. Okay. People fall in love in mysterious ways, maybe just the touch of a hand. But me, I fall in love with you every single day, and I just want to tell you... You don't have to get the rest of the lyrics, you just have to name the song. Oh, oh. But thank you anyway, Richard. I thought I had to carry on. <laughs> but... but it was no, 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 it's, it's Ed Sheeran thinking out loud. He, did, he got there first, yeah, that yeah, is a point yeah. to the students. Yeah, yeah. Well done, students. Be if just let's hit, let's hear Sheeran how it should have gone. People fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand So, I think are we all established on the rules now. Okay? Yeah. We all know how to play it, all right? <laughs> Name the song. Okay, question two. Go on. Right. Yeah. You're looking at the truth. The money never lie. No. Ooh, I think this one is a bit. Oh, I'm Ooh. not sure who that was. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give it. Right, I'm gonna have to ask my team. Did anyone see who got that first? Teachers. Teachers. I'm gonna have a wild guess and go for Drake. Song. Wild cards. You know what? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's good though. Guys, is it Drake? It's not Drake. Right, I think as you both don't gonna, know it. I was going to go for Michael Jackson. Okay, get your um, hands at the bells. I'm going to name the artist and who can, who can get the song. DJ Carlin. Single DJ Carlin song we've done. Ah, Wild Thoughts. No, Teachers. Can you read the lyric again? Please? Yes. Yeah, you're looking at the truth. The money never lie, no. I think he might have it. Oh, I know it now. Oh, I know it now. Yeah. Justin Bieber. No. I know it now. No, you're the one. You're the one. Oh, DJ one. Khaled. What's the song? Not you're the one. She's not you're the one. She's the one. She's the one. No, not she. I'm the one. I'm the one. Yes. Yes, you are the one. One one. Let's hear how it should have sounded. Looking at the truth, the money never lies. No, I'm the one. I'm the one. <laughs> right, okay. So it's one all. Question three. Easy come, easy go, little high, little low. Jesus. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Let's find out. Easy come, easy go, little high, little low. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. here we go. That's two onto the students. Teachers, that's a classic. And the young people have just got there before you. Shame. Come on. Yes. Right. Oh, I did, but he bit his first. Get okay, ready, guys. Fix. I, I, I feel. <laughs> what, it's for all well, I, I could have burst after you did the second word. But I'm not allowed to, so. No, you're not. No. So it all comes down to who can ring a bell first. Yeah. Yes. And not an understanding of. You understand the game. Yeah, You understand the game. I'm, 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 I'm simply, I'm simply critiquing the format. But yeah, go Okay, on. all right. Well, thank you for that, Andy. Next question. <laughs> no problem. And Dr. Dre said, nothing, you idiots. Dr. Dre's dead. It's about the end of the Yeah, no, it's ours. Yeah. And it is Eminem. It is. Better. You need to get the whole thing. Uh, it is Eminem and Dr. Dre still forget about. No, it's Eminem. St still it's Eminem. Eminem. I think Shona might. Yeah. Have an Ain't idea. It, um... Don't prank, prank, prank. 
No, 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 no. Yes, it is. Well done, well done. Yeah, we've done that. Let's see how it came out then. Thank you. And Dr. Dre said, Nothing, you idiots. Dr. Dre's dead. There you go. Somewhere in about the wrap of cannabis. But there you go. Oh, A little fact there from A little bit of extra knowledge there. Right. Oh, it's about a guy called Cannabis that was kind of like the other Slim Shady that didn't get as famous as Slim Shady. Mm. And they both critiqued each other, one in Slim and one in... Uh, anyway, whatever. No, that is actually... That's very interesting, yeah. Very right, interesting. this very next true. one yeah. is two apiece. Cannabis. Okay? It's two apiece. This next one... Right, this one is actually close to my heart, everyone, so... Oh, well, I, I know the answer. Know know this. Right, are you ready? <laughs> Annie, are you okay? <laughs> Will you tell us that you're okay? <laughs> because they, they let me finish the sentence. Oh. See, I told you, it's a bit... Richard? That is Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. By the king of pop, everybody. Let's hear how it should have sounded. Yes, what a song. Good song. What an artist. So that is 3-2 to the students. Yeah, I know. Can we have quiet please? Thank you. Right, number six. When the sun shine, we shine together. Told you I'd be here forever. Richard. Jesus, I want to let one of you guys answer this if you know it. I do know it, but I can... I'm just trying to think one Go on, Bruce, go on. Chloe, give All me right, I'm an idea. umbrella by Rihanna. There yeah, you go, team. Yeah. Bruce. Well done, pal. Well so done. So that's 4-2, and a lovely little rendition. Let's hear how that should have sounded. <laughs> that is a tune. That is a modern classic, everybody, isn't it? Right. So it's the students, you have four. The teachers only have two. What is going on? It's happening, guys. Right. Next question. This one, for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpiece. <sighs> Teachers. Uh, Saturday Night and Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. And uh, what's it called again? Uh, uh, what's the song name? Saturday. Uptown Funk. Uptown Funk. Yes, oh. Well done. Yeah. Let's hear it back. Ah. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpiece. Styling, wilding, living it up in the city. Got chucks on with Saint Laurent. Right. I'm too hot. Hot there. Okay, so it's 4 3. Ooh. This is a bit of a, a tiebreaker here. Gotta get our bells ready. <laughs> you are my fire, the one desire. I just wanted to beat that. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, dude. I, no, I know the lyrics and I know the tune, I just, I am not the GPS program. I can only hear hell to the king. Is it. Is it a. 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 Oh my god, I've got it. Oh my god, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Backstreet Boys, tell me why. Tell me why. Oh, oh no. Wrong. What? Backstreet Boys. Artist was right. I know it. Oh, I know it. Backstreet it's Boys. Backstreet Boys. Backstreet's I want it that way. Yes. Oh. Richard. Oh. Game. Oh. Set oh. Oh. To the students. Oh. But that actually is the end of the round. Oh. Well, let's hear Backstreet Boys back just yeah, one more time. It is a classic. That's another song. My fire, the one desire. <laughs> Right, well, at the end of I've the lived. game... We've got, have, we've got to have one more, we've got to have a winner. At least they're not a winner. They have won the game. We've won the game. Oh, the students have won the game. <laughs> I detest. So, uh, that is the end of the game. They Woo! Thank you to Shona, to David, to Andy. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. Richard, Chloe, and Bruce. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. So, at the end of the game, the students came out on top. That's all for Name the Song. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that one is going to be hard to take for the teachers, but well done to both teams. And finally, to wrap up the show, we have an exclusive performance 
from the next big recording artist, Indigo, singing a cover of the hit Drake track, Passion Fruit. So without further ado, give it up for Indigo. And Indigo's first full album, The Life of a Rose, is out now. And you can also check her out on SoundCloud. What an incredible voice she has. And we very much look forward to seeing what the future has in store for her. And that's about all we have time for today. A massive thank you to everyone involved. And we hope you were entertained. Until next time, I'm Ben Thornley. And you've been watching The Ben Thornley Show. <laughs>